Want to collect payments easily without coding? Whether it's one-time payments, subscriptions, or donations, Fillout Forms allows you to integrate with Stripe and automate everything. I'll show you how to set up a form with conditional logic and calculations in just minutes. Check it out. It's really easy to get started with Fillout and to be able to create a payment form. One really nice feature beyond it being an advanced form software is the 0% additional fees. There are still Stripe fees involved, but a lot of the other form softwares out there collect an additional percentage on top of the Stripe fees. Philo offers this on even the free plan. To get started, if you do not have a Philo account already, there is a link in the description below. Once you're logged into Philo, you can click the blue make a Philo button. And then we have a number of options here. We have a scheduling and a payments option at the top here. What I'm going to start with though, is using a blank form. Again, with this, you could integrate with whatever database tool you're using, whether it be smart suite or Airtable or even something else, there is third party integrations uh, that you can add, but I'm going to keep things really simple. I'm just going to build the payment form. I'm going to start with a blank form. You can select your theme. Down the left here, you can create one with AI or you can make your own, but I'm just going to go in here and select one. Once you've created your form, you can name it, whatever you want, really. I'm just going to do collect payments demo and hit continue. Bring in a heading. I'll have a paragraph in there just with some description of the cost and what the actual fees are for the different, in my case, services I'm going to provide bring in a drop down as well and i'll be bringing in another drop down shortly i'm just going to call it training sessions and we're going to sell individual sessions and we're going to sell two types of packages as well down below here i'm going to copy and paste my prices that i've already predetermined as you can see there's some formatting options so when you type in your text if you double click on it to highlight it you have some uh, different headings that you can select you can make it bold and underline. You can use bullet points. You can actually even add links to these text items as well. And then from there, I'm going to bring in a divider just to break this up a little bit. So my first question is going to be a drop down. This is going to basically allow the user to select their service or product. What package do you want to purchase? And then on the right here, we have different settings. So if this was closed, you just go in and click this gear icon to open the field settings. You can add in a caption a placeholder, and then we're going to have options within our dropdown because we only have a few options. I'm just going to go and add them in manually, but you do have a bulk add option, individual sessions, package of five, and we can do package of 10. And I already have my prices here. How we're going to handle this is we need to create some sort of calculation method because we are going to allow the user to buy multiple of the individual sessions if they want to buy two or three, if they're maybe not interested in buying the full package. So remaining on the, what package do you want to purchase field? We're going to go down to advanced and we can add a custom value. When I toggle this, we can see that we have our list of options here. Click this edit icon on the right. And then I can change the value of this. The individual sessions add in yeah. 200 there. The package of five, I'm going to add in the full amount, which is 900. And the package of 10 is going to be 1600. Make this required because before they can move on, they have to add some sort of service. Down here, I'm just going to name this items, services, and I'm going to actually go into the left here and add another drop down. This one's going to be how many individual sessions do you want to purchase? Go into bulk add, I'm adding one, two, three, and four. This is going to be required, but it's only going to be required if, and we're going to click this logic button here, and we're going to click this show when and set conditional logic. So we only want to show this option if the package they select is individual sessions. If we go add condition, select the, what package you want to purchase question. And if that is equal to individual sessions, then this will show up. Otherwise it's going to be hidden. I like setting this over to the right. We can go in here and add an extra page. It's going to be a form. 
And this is just going to be a contact info or details. Continue. I'm going to bring a short answer and email. And in the short answer one, I'm just going to do full name. And on the right, I want to make this required. And same with the email. I want to make this required. Similar to what we did on the first page, I can bring in a heading and I can just type in contact details and set this over to the right side. And now if I go back to the items and services, we can see once they've entered the information, they'll be able to select next. And then it will go to the contact details. Right now it says submit, but we are going to add one additional page. If we go in here, we can add a page and the page is going to be payments. In our case, I'm going to do one time, but as I mentioned, we have a subscription and a pay what you want option. If we go into one time payment, we can use this plus icon to reference previous data that has been entered. We call this training sessions for a product name, and then just put in a dash here. And eventually we're going to bring in the number of sessions that they purchased. But I'm just going to add this payment page for a moment, go down to the logic here, calculations and add a new calculation. So this is going to be our price. We want the type to be a number. We can create that. And the initial value is going to be what package do you want to purchase? If you remember, we added a custom value to each of those options. If the first individual item or sorry, individual training session was selected, then it will bring in a value of 200 here and so on. So if you pick the package of five, it'll be $900. And if you pick the package of 10, it populate with $1,600. We are going to add in a new rule or an additional rule. The conditional logic here is if an individual package was selected, we want to take that value and multiply it by the number of sessions that they purchased. We'll go into the set conditional logic and we will add in the, what package you want to purchase. If that equals individual sessions, then we want to multiply that value by the, how many individual sessions do you want to purchase? So in this case, it's going to be $200 multiplied by three or four, if that's what they've selected. So we can hit done. And there's one other calculation that we're going to use. This is just basically to determine the number of sessions that they purchased. We'll just call this number of sessions. And you can use number or text, select text in this case, because we're not going to use it for any calculations or mathematical cal calculations in this case. With the initial value, I'm going to leave that blank. Go in and create three rules. And the first one is going to be if the package do you want to purchase is equal to package of five, then we're going to assign the value of five. And same thing, we're going to go down here, do that exact same step again, go to package of 10, we'll sign this value as 10. And then if the individual sessions are selected, then we are going to assign whatever value was selected in the, how many individual sessions do you want to purchase? So we'll hit done. We can close out of this now. And now I can go in here and make some edits. I'm just going to select continue. If you have not connected your Stripe account. It's really easy. First off, go into Stripe, create an account if you haven't created one already, and then you'll just be able to log in and authenticate directly. So I'm just going to hit continue on the left side here on the product. This is, comes back up and in the product name, I've got training sessions. And now I can reference that calculation of number of sessions and the price here. I can back this out and I can add a reference and go into calculations and bring in the price done few other options on the side. I'll just leave this as complete checkout. That's fine. And on the left, I'm not going to turn on discount codes, but you have that flexibility. I do want to collect an email and I do want to pre-fill the email field because we are getting it from page two, which is a contact info here. And I can just select that email address. We'll pre-fill it here for me pass in the full name, then that way it will record it in Stripe for us. Payment methods. I'm just going to leave this as card for credit card, Stripe payment description. And if you want, you can pass in some information here. I'll just bring in full name. And if I hover, it says provide a custom description for the payment. This will show up in the Stripe dashboard on the payment. So I'll bring in full name and training 
sessions so that I know what it's for. I can go down to appearance. I'll scroll down and I'm just going to type in pay and it will show up as pay. Uh, you can add in a testimonial. You can add in a disclaimer if you want. And then in after payment, I do want to send a receipt. Now this page has been fully configured. We can go on to the ending. You can do a lot of different things here. You can redirect them to a website. You can just show a thank you page here, redirect them to a new form. And there's a lot of options down the left side for information that you can share with them after the fact. I'm just going to leave it as thank you. I, you can add in and reference information from previous pages down here. I'm just going to keep things simple. Leave this as a thank you. Now I'm going to go into preview and we can test out this workflow. First thing, what package do you want to purchase? I'm going to select this package of five and I can select next. And then I can just put in my full name and an email address next. And then we can see that it's passed in my email address here dynamically. I'll have to enter my credit card information. And then you can see the training sessions. I purchased five and it's going to be $900. And that's what will get charged on my credit card. If I go ahead and hit submit, it will go to the ending page. I'm going to exit the preview, go back into the preview again, and I'm going to test this one more time on the individual sessions. Now that I selected individual sessions, you can see that an additional question did pop up and I can come in here and choose how many sessions I want to. Let's go in here, select three and go next, enter my contact details we'll hit next and we can see that i'm buying three sessions and that's a rate of six hundred dollars so the calculations are working properly we can thank fill out for making it really easy for us to collect various types of payment both subscription and one-time payments and also thank you to them for not taking an additional percentage off the top from us that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get more tutorials in the future